USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, is a first-in-class aircraft carrier and the first new aircraft carrier designed in more than 40 years. Ford has been underway in the Atlantic Ocean conducting carrier qualifications. During a two-day period, FA-18 Super Hornets across four different squadrons assigned to Carrier Air Wing 8 conducted 123-day and 42-night catapults and traps aboard Ford in order to complete its flight deck certification. The CQ evolution here is a two-day process for them, uh, but it's, it's built on you know, months and months and frankly years of training and hard work by those SNAs and their instructors to get them there. Ford also earned its Carrier Air Traffic Control Center certification which ran in concert with flight deck certification during the underway. The Carrier Air Traffic Control Center certification tested the ability of Ford's air traffic controllers to successfully guide pilots through night operations and in foul weather conditions. There's a lot of teamwork and coordination involved in trapping aircraft 55 seconds apart. We split workload. There are multiple approach controllers and final controllers that may be talking to aircraft at once. That helps alleviate uh, frequency congestion. In addition to receiving flight deck and air traffic control certifications, Ford accomplished its first vertical replenishment. Working alongside USNS Joshua Humphreys and with the Tridents of Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 9, the Ford received 77 pallets of food and dried goods in just over four and a half hours. Safety is always paramount when we're doing vert reps. You know, make sure that we have critical people in those key positions to kind of uh, mitigate people walking through a vert rep or in front of a forklift or something else while it happens. To maintain Ford's status as a lethal first-in-class warship, Combat systems perform tests designed to stress the ship's combat capabilities. Ford completed sea-based developmental testing of vital combat systems. The testing was conducted with Kiefer and Hawker Hunter jet aircraft from the Airborne Tactical Advantage Company. Ship's crew tracked the aircraft using Ford's dual-band radar. On a divisional level with the weapon posture, we had to coordinate ourselves appropriately in a very time critical fashion. It takes a competent and qualified fire controlman to be able to go up, get everything he needs from CDC, and then go over to his mount, get his mount ready to fire. Ford was awarded the Carrier Maintenance Efficiency Award from Commander Naval Air Forces March 9th. The Carrier Maintenance Efficiency Award is awarded to ships that surpass a maintenance standard in nine different maintenance categories. On March 15th, Ford conducted an inaugural anchoring evolution. It was the first time Ford conducted an evolution using its port side anchor. The successful port anchoring allows for greater flexibility in future sea and anchoring evolutions, accommodating various sea conditions with additional maneuverability. Between your POIC, your riggers, handling the chain stoppers, your brakemen, your controlmen, all around teamwork for everybody in deck department for a successful evolution. And finally, Ford achieved an important milestone in the ship's history, March 19th, when an F-A-18 Hornet attached to the Blue Blasters of Strike Fighter Squadron 34 landed aboard Ford's flight deck, marking the 1,000th recovery of a fixed-wing aircraft. Ford's first recovery occurred July 28, 2017. Man hours countless. Everybody puts in the work, puts in their share, pull their load, and that's how we were able to get the thousand and the two thousand trap and to be able to show other carriers and big Navy that Gerald R. Ford can go on the fleet and do what we need to do.